Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Public Cloud Design Tips and Tricks. In this channel, we generally discuss about public cloud design problem statements and the related solution. Today, we are going to talk about Azure API Management Load Balancer capabilities. So, the problem statement, can I do load balancing with API Management backend pool in Azure? The answer is yes. This is the uh, latest feature which has been launched by Microsoft Azure where you can do the load balancing of your backend pools inside your API management. We will talk about it in detail in this slides. Before that, let's try to understand what is API management service. Azure API management is a hybrid multi-cloud management platform for APIs across all the environment. You can use it in a hybrid cloud architecture, API management, also in a multi-cloud architecture also, you can use API management for all your management activities of APIs inside this service. How it helps? It helps you to abstract backend architecture, diversity and complexity from API consumers. It also helps you to securely expose services hosted on and outside Azure as APIs. It helps you protect, accelerate and observe API governance. It enables you to API discovery and consumption by internal and external users. Now, let's try to understand different components of Azure API management service. It has major three components, API Gateway, Management Pool and Developer Portal. API Gateway is where whenever a request is currently landed in landing in Azure API management, it lands in API Gateway. From API Gateway, it interacts with API Management and API Management interacts with your various services, your Azure services. And there is a developer portal where the developer can do the governance over the APIs via the developer portal, where you can discover, learn and try out new things in the API Management portal. So that's how, that's how it works uh, currently. Now let's try to understand Azure API Management backend. So a backend or a API backend in API management is an HTTP that uh, HTTP service that implements your front-end API and its operations. What operation you are doing over that particular API, that means it can be read, write, update, whatever operations that you are doing, that is getting defined over the backend. So when importing certain APIs, API management configures the API backend automatically. That means when you import inside your API management a backend or APIs, that time itself API management automatically configured the backend API and such as uh, an open API specification when you are importing an open API specification or uh, uh, a SOAP API as well as Azure resources such as Azure function app or logic app when you are integrating this type of capabilities or APIs to your Azure API management, it automatically creates a backend. Now, it also supports other backend services like you know Azure Service Fabric cluster, a custom service that you are building over a solution that means uh, an app service or a uh, Kubernetes service. Whenever you are uh, building it, you also can configure if it is an API, then you can configure your custom API over API management. Now, the circuit breaker, which is currently in preview uh, by Microsoft. So circuit breaker is nothing but controlling the overload which is coming towards your APIs, right? So the same concept applies here. So it uses the circuit breaker, the architectural circuit breaker pattern here. So API management exposes a circuit breaker property in the backend resources. That means in the backend resources, you can uh, configure that to protect the backend service for being overwhelmed by too many requests. So that means, as I said, like when a lot of requests are coming towards your uh, backend, and uh, your backend is completely blocked or overloaded that time if you enable the circuit breaker pattern based on certain conditions that means number or percentage of failure or a range of status codes that indicates a failure in that case api management will stop receiving the request from your consumer and it will return them 500 or 503 uh, service unavailable in this way it protects your backend okay that is circuit circuit breaker preview now coming back to our topic, load balanced. So currently in API management, you have the capabilities of backend pools. So inside API management backend, backend pools, you can, you can add multiple backends. 
and you can implement multiple backends for an API and load balance request across those backends. Based on your, uh, you know, load capabilities, you can route the traffic between the backends. It currently supports load balancing only in round robin mode. Uh, it also uses a backend pool for scenarios such as, uh, you know, when you want to spread the load to multiple backends, which may have individual backend circuit breakers. So based on the individual backend circuit breakers, you can distribute the load across the backend. It also helps you to shift the load from one set of backend to another uh, group of, uh, you know, another uh, set of backends. Uh, there it follow the blue green deployment. So at the end, if you look into the concept, so previously it was not possible to do the load balancing, although it has just started with round robin. So down the line, we expect Microsoft will, uh, you know, uh, help us with a lot of more uh, different type of load balancing like weighted, routed, these are all will be uh, available down the line. But right now it is only available with the round robin one and also it also helps you with the, uh, you know, individual circuit breakers uh, way of working. So yeah, that's about the load balancing capabilities, which is currently available. There are really less information currently available in, in the in the document of Microsoft, which I have tried to capture. Uh, all the data has been captured from Microsoft document. I have uh, got the link uh, from Microsoft. I will share it in the video description. If you want to know more about it, then go through it. And uh, let's explore APAM to find out how exactly it is working. And in future, once we get more about it, we will produce more video about it. Thank you for listening.